Welcome to Bespoke Diaries, today's article is on, The World of Essential Oils and What You Need to Know, by Amy Rempel, Business Coach, Canada. Amy was using natural solutions for a while, but had a difficult time finding products that actually worked for her family and her until she found essential oils. It was actually after a major surgery when she found them to be so supportive. She was stressed with being a mom to two young kids while recovering and getting terrible tension headaches. She was given a sample of peppermint oil and she could not believe how much it helped her. She has now been able to drastically reduce her use of over-the-counter medication. To her amazement essential oils have now supported them when they have been sick, sad, when they have trouble sleeping, digestion, and feeling more balanced. As an aromatherapist with a background in the health food manufacturing industry, Amy knew she had to align herself with an essential oil company that is transparent. Did you know that the essential oil industry is not regulated? Similar to the health food industry there are many people who can and will deceive you about what is in or what is not in your essential oil bottle. Here are her top 5 tips when looking at an essential oil brand to use safely for you and or your family. 1. Does the company do third-party testing? This is very important as they are going to an outside source to get their essential oils tested. 2. Are they publicly publishing these results? The company should not be hiding anything. 3. Are their crops grown in indigenous habitats? This is very important because the crop is going to create their most effective and potent essential oil if they are grown where they are supposed to be. Essential oils do not automatically come with the plant, this is something they create using the sun, soil, and water of their habitat in order to help them repel things like pests and fight disease, viruses, and environmental threats. 4. Are they a fair trade company? Unfortunately, many essential oil companies do not pay their farmers fairly, that is the difference between a very cheap essential oil and a more expensive one that says it's from the same plant. This is also noticeable if the line of essential oils all have the same price. This is especially relevant in developing countries where farmers are exploited easily. 5. Do they ethically market their oils? I find there are some companies that like to ride on the coattails of the more successful companies, instead of being able to stand on their own two feet, for me that is a red flag. How they work, essential oils are extremely versatile, they can support you with all things physical, emotional and even spiritual. An interesting aspect of essential oils is how they work on a cellular level. Essential oils have extremely small molecules that penetrate our cells very easily because they can enter our cells through the oily membrane that surrounds it. This is why they can be very supportive for things like colds and flus. Something like an antibiotic is water-based, which cannot penetrate the oily membrane, that is why the doctor will tell you to go home, rest and drink lots of fluids when you are sick with a virus, there is nothing more that can be done, unless of course you have essential oils on hand. Harvesting and Extraction The harvesting method varies depending on the crop. For something like citrus oils, they are easily picked and then extracted from the rind, because this is easy to do citrus oils are generally less expensive as there is less time, product and labor involved. On the other hand, if you look at frankincense, this is actually from a resin in a tree that is hand picked and then involves people going through the resin to make sure it is clear of debris before they even begin the extraction and distilling process. As you can imagine, this price should be much higher than a citrus essential oil. Because essential oils come from different types of crops and are harvested differently, they should all have different pricing. They are then steam distilled for the best possible outcome. Different uses and types of essential oils. Amy is sure we are wondering, but what can they actually do? Okay, she got you. Here are some of her favorite essential oils and how she uses them. Lemon, believe it or not, this is the best solution for stains on your clothes. It even gets cooking oil stains out, as long it's pure. Just dab it onto the stain and rub it in and then wash immediately after. She also uses a brand that is safe for ingesting, always read your label first, so she loves lemon oil in her water and in her homemade guacamole. 
eucalyptus, wow, when this oil is in its pure form, you would think you are smelling the leaves right from the tree. She didn't know eucalyptus could smell like this, which showed her how altered eucalyptus can be. She loves this in her diffuser at night and sometimes she just opens the bottle and inhale it. It is calming and great at supporting your respiratory system. Frankincense, this is an extremely versatile essential oil and one that is always in her collection. This is wonderful for meditating as it is grounding, but it also supports us physically for immunity, autoimmunity, and our respiratory system. It is also very safe for children and animals, as long as it is from a pure and transparent company. This is an oil she also uses for pain topically by diluting 1 to 2 drops with coconut oil. Speaking of diluting, this is also important to know. Dilution can be used for a few different reasons, it is done for dosage purposes, meaning what you put on yourself is not going to be the same amount that you would use on a child or with an animal. You would also want to dilute if you have sensitive skin or you want the essential oil to stick. Essential oils are very light, so they will evaporate off the skin very quickly if they are not held down by a carrier oil. This especially happens if the oil is pure and is a good test to see if it is. If the oil sticks to you for more than a few hours, it is most likely pre-diluted or there are synthetic fragrances added. There is so much to learn about these beautiful and helpful solutions, so Amy hopes this was a good start if you are new to essential oils. If you would like a free wellness consultation, please connect with her. If you are interested in working with essential oils yourself, she mentors and coach others to do what she does and she is currently looking for 5 new people to mentor in India as her company will be opening there in May 2022. She hopes to help us grow a business helping others feel their best. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Do leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For similar type of article please reach us at contact at thebespokediaries.com or you can visit our website www.thebespokediaries.com.